Hello everyone, I am Conquering History Games and welcome back to part 3 of my Daenerys campaign here in Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones. So we are choosing whose chains we are going to break next and uh, seeing as that three of these four options are to my west and geographically more distant from me than New Geese, we're going to go after New Geese because then afterwards uh, we'll be able to say that all right, our south is secure, we're set, then we can focus on going west. And we do intend to go west uh, to free everyone. Everyone who has slaves will pay. Bravos, you're lucky. You get off easy. Uh, so we're going to go after New Geese. Now, New Geese, yeah. Queen Daenery Stormborn, Stormborn has declared the Marinese New Giscari War of Emancipation on King Gazdan VI of New Geese. I think the music's getting a little loud there. So New Geese is uh, the, the sequel to Old Geese. I hope I'm pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> a bit like a flock of geese, right? Or is it geese? But old geese here, which I think nobody's ever actually allowed to. Yeah, yeah. This is nobody could actually hold this because this is an ancient ruined city that um, was destroyed when the world was young. Uh, it was, you know, people talk about the fall of Valeria, which was this uh, ancient empire which had held basically all this. Uh, not here. Like you can call it New Valeria if you conquer all of this. Is my understanding how it works? Oh, the North is considered an empire now. Would you look at that? Uh, but anyway, so so Old Geese was um, a city that had and an empire that had existed even before uh, the Valerians. As you can see here is Giscar, ancient empire. But they went to war with the Valerians five times, and every single time they were defeated. Uh, and, uh, this was because the Valerians had dragons, and, uh, the, as the, and the geese are about to remember, oh yeah, you don't fuck with dragons, or people with them. I'm about to teach them that lesson. Uh, incidentally, how many? They've got about 7,000 men. Yeah, this should be a cakewalk, unless they call in some allies. I don't know if they have any allies. But, uh, hold on a sec. <laughs> Sorry, water. Um, anyway, the... So, so, yeah, a lot of people think that since Valeria is supposed to be a parallel for ancient Rome, these guys are supposed to be a parallel for Carthage, since the Carthage fought Rome several times and lost every time. Uh, anyway, let's have Barristan come on down here. Now, the actual island, it is uh, the, the city itself is an island out here. So we might have to go down there uh, to, to defeat them. But in the meantime, we will take their land holdings and destroy their armies. Wait, what is this? Queen Daenerys, after considering your demands, we have found you leave us no choice. Slavery is hereby outlawed in the kingdom of New Geese. We trust this will satisfy you and you will leave our lands unmolested. War ends with the following terms. Uh, Queen Daenerys gains 250 prestige. Awesome, so that's great. We freed them and we didn't even have to fight them. That is terrific. So, breaking of the chains. Uh, let's continue on. Uh, I figure Volantis is the obvious choice, right? Uh, they're down to only about 6,000 men, because I'm sure quite a few of them were killed. These are, this guy is an SOC Valerian, and he still believes in the Valerian gods. Very interesting. Uh, now, Volantis is another interesting city uh, in the world of Ice and Fire. Uh, you, you really do learn that Westeros is kind of, a, in ways it's old, but in many ways it's young. Uh, but Volant Now, sometimes this goes by the name Old Volantis, first daughter of the sea, because it is at the mouth of the Roin River, which is this... Big thick river that goes uh, right up the continent here of Western, or right up Western uh, Essos here, where it splits. Uh, you know, part of it going into Norvos, part of it going into Cahor. And uh, it's one of the nine free cities of Western Essos, and it is the most, uh, the most populous. Uh, incidentally, those nine, what are the nine? I believe the nine are Bravos, Pentos, Mir, Lys, Tyrosh, Atlantis, uh, Norvos. Kohar and uh, Lorath. Yeah, these are the these are the free cities. Um, in quotations, of course. <sighs> anyway, so we are we're gonna go after them. Uh, we're gonna defeat this city, which uh, was described by Tyrion Lannister as smelling like an old whore. Well, we're gonna purify this old whore with an, an emancipation war. So, I don't think we have any... Do we even have any ships? Because it would make my life a whole lot easier if we could just, uh... Transport my armies over. 
Okay, yeah, we have a few ships here, including some from Yunkai. So we'll send, pro we'll probably send Barristan over the land. What is this? Travelers and merchants bring word that a sorcerer lord claiming to be the Yellow Emperor from a dynasty fallen for a thousand years has launched an invasion of the Golden Empire of Yi Ti. This guy, the Carcosan Riders, Raiders. All right, well, Yi Ti doesn't look too good right now. This is basically China here. Um, okay. Merge these together. Uh, can't, yeah, we're not going to be able to put these all on here, and I don't want to send only 2,800. Okay, so we're gonna we're just going to walk it, which is a little bit annoying because it's going to take a while. Also, uh, we have some holdings we should be giving away. Let's, uh, we've got no claimants here. Yeah, because we have, we have uh, too big a, de a demise. Uh, a lot of our vassals don't like us right now. Because we're a female ruler, and technically our heir is female as well, because uh, it's Queen Shadine. I really have to find somebody to marry. Damian Lannister. Son of Tyrion. Oh, who was killed? He was killed in personal combat. <laughs> Tyrion is dead, and so now his son reigns in uh, the Westerlands. His regent is Lord Damon the Old. He's a Marbrand. Very interesting. Uh, but yeah, who who is worthy... To be one of the heads of the dragon. Robert, Lord of the Ring. Isn't that cute? Lordship of the Ring. Down here. The Reach. Maybe we can find like a high tower or something. Who's your heir? Your heir was just born. Uh, what other siblings do we got here? Al Alisane High Tower. And he's an Ambrose. Hmm. Uh, how do we want to do this? Who out there? Maybe we should marry a Stark. Ugh. He ended up marrying Jenny Westerlin after all. I'm sure they're very happy. We'll take care of that. Yeah, this will be fun. Oh, Catelyn died. Died clutching her heart. Oh, she had a heart attack at some point. Very sad. Or maybe we can... We need to find somebody to matrilineally marry. And uh, maybe we can marry Brandon. Oh, but he's already a cripple, isn't he? Yeah, he's crippled. Fertility minus 30%. Hey, that's probably better than mine. If I do matrilineal... Is this going to be a hard no? Yeah, too high in the line of succession. How about Rickon? He should be so lucky. Nope. <sighs> Arya has still vanished. Ooh. How about this? Let's, uh... Wait, no. Here, here's what'll be easier. Go to Rob. Go to his uh, family, siblings, half-brother Jon Snow. Oh, but yeah, he can't He can't get betrayed. He's uh, betrothed. Right. We'll just have to wait on who we marry. Maybe I should marry Kalpono, right? Maybe I got some Dothraki fever. Anyway, enough chatter. Let's uh, start heading west. So I really should. Let's, uh... Hmm. I, I do need to give away some of these titles. So let's give a... Uh, Barristan be down. Barristan probably would not be down for uh, holding something. But uh, maybe I can uh, reward some of my commanders, like I go here. Uh, you will be Lord of Astapor. And, uh, oh, Belwas. I forgot about Strong Belwas. He's a Dothraki? Hmm. Well, we will give him Yunkai. Just like that. Our issues are, have been dealt with. Cool. We created uh, House Belwas Belwasid. I lost the strong of the Yukai. Alright, uh, we'll, we'll also go ahead and merge these. We might as well keep all 24,000 together. Barristan on the flanks and Grey Worm. Yeah, Barristan and Grey Worm. Ooh, Marwyn the Mage has an event here. A man by the name of Marwyn the Mage has arrived in Marine. He is an Archmaester of the Citadel, short and squat, with enormous hands, a thick chest, and a hard ale belly. 
He says he spent eight years in the East mapping distant lands, searching for lost books, and studying with warlocks and shadowbinders. Upon hearing of your dragons, he traveled here to offer you his service. That his ring, rod, and mask are made of Valyrian steel would suggest he knows of magic. He is also offering a precious glass candle as a gift. So this is him. Holy crap! 33 learning! Damn! No idea. So this is kind of fun. I think this is sort of funny that in the fifth A Song of Ice and Fire book, because we saw Quentin earlier, and then there, here's Marwyn the Mage, and Victorion, I think, was supposed to be heading our way. Is he dead or something? Let's check that real quick. Uh, no, wait, wrong one. Children. Wow, he's getting a lot of kids. Uh, but where's... Yeah, Lord Victorion. Oh, he's blind! Is he blind? Yeah, he got blinded. What happened? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so friggin... You have all these characters who, I just think it's so funny because people joke like, when is Daenerys going to get to Westeros already? So you have all these characters who in the fifth book just go, fuck it, I'm just going to her. If she's taking too long, I'm going to go to her. I guess it's faster when you go west to east. Uh, anyway, so we're going to bring him in, and uh, we now have a glass candle in our treasury. So this says a glass candle is a candle made of obsidian. It is claimed that when the glass candles burn, the sorcerers can... See across mountains, seas, and deserts, give men visions and dreams, and communicate with one another half a world away. Uh, I don't... I can't use this. My learning isn't high enough. But in the meantime, it does give me more prestige, intrigue, diplomacy, and learning. So since I am settling down here in the, uh, in the west, I think it's time to actually appoint a council. So let's start off with my master at arms. That will be Barristan, of course. Uh, let's just have you organizing the army. Master of coin... A lot of these people don't like me. Born conqueror, female ruler, female heir, abolish slavery. You're gonna be mad about that for 200 years, it says. Just like the American South. Uh, short reign, medium realm authority, wrong government type, foreigner, zealous, abomination of incest, foreign religion, uncrowned. Woo! That's, uh, yeah, they, don't, they really don't like me. Let me try to find people who do like me. Uh, Master of Whispers. Isdar. Uh, okay, our court physician. We're going to switch you out for Marwyn. Uh, Septon. Okay, Master of Laws. Yeah, Geras Drinkwater. Yeah, Drinkwater. This guy. So this is the one. This is the guy who came from Dorne with Quentin. Some of them decided to stick around even though Quentin's dead. He's totally not dead. Uh... And yeah, Meron, another Dornishman. Okay. Let's try to improve relations with some people here. Who's that? Why doesn't Bill Walsh like me more? Look at all I gave him. Alright, we're gonna, gonna try to improve our diplomatic relations here. Uh, collect some taxes. Finally, let's build a spy network at least. I think we're going after them next. Is that everybody? No, no, we still have a uh, no Septon. End of the king. All right, we're good. We're good. Oh, we could do colonizing. What is this? Old Geese is an unoccupied ruin which can be colonized under the right conditions. Capital holding gauge huge colony. It'll cost me a thousand gold. A colony will be established in Old Geese. It'll be unprovi unprofitable and provide little troops for many years until complete. Larger colonies cost more to maintain and will take longer to complete. Your stewardship rating will affect how quickly the colony is built, and assigning your steward to oversee construction will also decrease completion time. That's interesting. I've never really done that. Uh, let's do it. Gonna cost me half my gold, but let's. There we go. We just colonized it. Uh, break sorta, of, but but uh, it should be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, sorry, I know that we we're not unpausing because of one thing or another. I actually am gonna ask for help organizing my titles. I just don't want to deal with it anymore. Uh, you have no valid candidates. Master of Royal Elements, King's Justice. I wonder where Jorah is, by the way. I'm just gonna check in on him real quick.
this one? No. Let me try. If I try more mont. No sight of him. Is he dead somewhere? Hmm. Over here. Jor. Jora. He got cancer and died somewhere. Died the 19th of the third moon of 4303. So he's been dead for about a year and a half. Oh well. Alright. So we have to just cross through these lands here. Terras. Such. Drogon needs a guardian. Is that how it works? <laughs> I think I'll be his guardian. <laughs> he is my child, technically. So am I her heir? What do you know I am? It's plot to kill the niece of the usurper. We could also send for a faceless now. Oh shoot! Look at this plot power rise. Wow. Not very popular, poor girl. Of course, uh, I'm sure that uh, Daenerys is completely oblivious to the fact that she was once plotted to, somebody once plotted to kill her from across an ocean. All right, we've reached them. I've been attending to the wounds. Siege of Yaros defeat. What? What are you talking about? Oh, they landed an army here in the east. Okay. Yeah, they must actually have ships. Uh, well, that's fine, because I have a dragon. Dracatus. Oh, no. He's maimed. Oh, shit. Shit, that's bad. I think he can eventually recover. Maybe. Oh, man. That hurts his life expectancy, hurts his martial, hurts a lot of stuff. Damn. Uh, Barristan wants to get married. That's interesting. Okay, I'll try to find you something nice. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, let me find him a Dane. There's a Dane over here who'd be down for that. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Ulrich. Who the heck would he... I guess he's not a Kingsguard member anymore, technically, so he doesn't want to do that sort of thing anymore. He wants to get married. I'll think of something for him later. Uh, we gained the trait Poor Fighter. Wow, that's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, damn, that sucks that Drogon got maimed. We might have to set up Rhaegal as a backup. Wait, what? Who's just- who's rebelling against me? Lord Freeholder Grazdan of No Man's Land. What is this nonsense? Okay. Oh, Alright, we took Old Volantis. Old Volantis held many slaves as captives, that is, until you and your army liberated them. The decadent slave owners can only watch as your men free every last slave, granting them all your their freedom. All slave camps in Old Volantis are destroyed, with all the slaves being set three free, 30% chance a band of former slaves joins your cause. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're going to put his family in house arrest. We weren't able to find uh, the actual head of Volantis. We're at 99%, though. We have not won a major battle. What's considered major? Maybe if we defeat these guys? Oh, that's not considered major either. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait like three years. That's the thing. Well, that's pretty damn annoying. We're just supposed to sit around and wait for 36 months. <sighs> Siege of Yunkai was a defeat. I think we're going to have to go back there. Let me read this again. Okay, it says... Score is capped at 99% because less than 36 months have passed and Queen Daenerys Stormborn has not yet won a major battle. Alright, I guess we have to go all the way back and deal with this army. We have to deal with that rebellion anyway. I guess it works out. And plus we've got the prisoners. 
Oh, did I just inherit the throne? It just says here, Queen Shireen died of pneumonia. So, who's in charge? Oh, she had a... She had a kid. She just had had a kid. She must have died. She must have been sick from childbirth. Well, you know how it goes, guys. Ooh, kid's not too popular either. Unmarried and pregnant. Damn it. Damn it, Dario. <sighs> then again, if I have an illegitimate child, won't it be a Targaryen? You know what? That works out... That works out nicely now that I think about it. I'll be a mother. Nobody knows who the father is. So, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a Targaryen. We will do that. Plus, we need an heir. So we will carry this one to turn. Let's see if we can. All right, here we go. Here we go. We rolled Galantis. We lost that. Failure. We didn't, uh, we didn't pull it off. The dragon Viserion is a, is a uh, ravenous beast. He regularly roams the lands of Marine, gorging on the livestock of the peasants. Hundreds of them have seeked audience with you in the past months to protest at this, their discontent growing all the while. We will give them recompense. We're pregnant now, that's gonna be... Uh, let's see, try to capture the elephant. Subjects are feeling protected. Okay. Well. Cool. We gotta we gotta catch these damn guys. Uh you know what, Barristan? You've earned the right to pick whoever you want to marry. Uh Your Grace, I've been offered a seat on the Conclave, the governing body of the Citadel, and the rank of Archmaester. This is a prestigious post, so I must accept. Well, okay, we need a new physician. It's kind of important to have a physician when you're pregnant. Uh, but we also are going to need to fill a seat on the council, since I guess uh, Marwyn didn't thought, you know, having rank was more important. Oh, Duncan's a little annoyed with us right now. The heretical sorcerer has been caught and jailed in the city of Gadhis. The sorcerer has apparently healed various ailments inflicting the other prisoners. Although he is scheduled for execution at noon, you could pardon him and bring him into your employ. Orthodox, but I do need a physician. He's an Astapori. And, like, I freed his city. Bishop's the harpy. He should be down with me, right? But, so it's just because he's a heretic he was arrested? Is that all? That's not even a heretical religion in these parts. Yeah. We'll bring him in. Uh, idle council members. Position. Can't change his job. Can't do anything. Trying to lay siege to Marine up here. Marines. Uh. Fine. Okay, just some stuff about prisoners. Come on now. Right, somebody's making a play for the Iron. We're gonna make another play for the Iron Throne via assassination. She was caught, in, she was smothered with a pillow by the maid we had bribed. She wasn't caught, no one has any reason to place blame on me. This world is too cruel for children. So, am I now queen? Who the hell is this? Lord Protector Justin of the Iron Throne? Justin Macy? Who the heck is that? Hold on a second. Justin, I'm gonna look that up. I am... <laughs> what? That's a character. That's somebody who's actually named. So, okay. This guy was somebody who was sworn to House Baratheon, so he must have taken control of the throne, even though it was mined by rights. So now the Macy's are in charge. This large man with pink cheeks, blue eyes, and a mop of white blonde hair, pale as flax. He has a pleasing smile and a, a pleasing manner and a ready smile. He once was a squire for Robert Baratheon. <laughs> I, 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 I just don't understand. <sighs> this is actually the one, uh, interestingly enough, this is the one who, if you've read the Winds of Winter preview chapters, he's the one who's supposed to go to Bravos. uh, 
after he escorts uh, the so-called the fake Arya Stark up to the wall uh, so that he can you know go pick up the money and then get 20,000 cell swords. He also wants to marry Asha. That's weird, but damn, damn, I can't believe he he seized power. <laughs> and now a whole new family's on the Iron Throne. That's not going to end well. King Dario has acknowledged our child. Wait a minute. Damn it, that means he's a Naharis. Fuck. Forgot the father could acknowledge the child. I don't want him as my heir. Actually, my current heir is Barristan in the Bold, interestingly enough. Very strange. Uh, we didn't even get a chance to name the kid. The kid was automatically named. Jay Nera? Let's just say I don't think it's going to end well for this kid. Over here, over here. We're tacking onto an island, but we should be fine. Your newborn child was born of incest. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not. Oh no! Your dragon Drogon has had a long life, but unfortunately he is now dead. His age finally catching up with him. He may have left a final clutch of dragon eggs, however. This is a sad day. Uh, we might become depressed. Its skull should grace our halls. Either way, no matter what, we're gonna. there's a 20% chance we'll come depressed, but a 33% chance we get a dragon egg. Uh, make me a weapon from its bones. That's really interesting. Have a far valuable artifact made from its bones. I don't think a dragon bone axe really fits with uh, Daenerys. Uh, oh, a statue. See, that's interesting. The Dothraki. Uh, let's give them tribute to leave us alone. All right. Uh, so let's look at our treasury. So we now have the skull of Drogon, who died from a severe maiming. Whoops. Oh man, if you want to talk about magic, what if it's like because I ha I gave birth to a human child, his life essence went into it, right? Only life can pay for death, and only death could pay for life. I mean, only death could pay for life. Anyway, so the polished skulls of dragons looks like glittering onyx. Their teeth are like curved daggers of, of black diamond. Gives me a little more monthly prestige. We also have the dragon bone statue. A decorative statue made of dragon bone. Dragon bone is used to make many items of value because of its rarity and special properties. Also gives me additional monthly prestige. Uh, now, I'm getting a little confused here. Where the heck is this revolt at? You know, we're just going to besiege this area here. We'll leave Marine. Marine's fine. Uh, we've got to deal with this, though. Looking at... Yeah, we can take back their holdings. Okay. All right, Sir Barristan Selmy has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in aid of Marine. It would be seen as the right and honorable course to reward him with certain incomes and grants so as to foster greater loyalty. Uh, we can give him a Targaryen heirloom and grant him a strip of land. He can become the Lord of Slaver's Road, which probably should be renamed. Uh, <laughs> let's do that. We reward him for his service. Dothraki, uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep tributing any Dothraki that try to raid us, uh, to have more important things to worry about at the moment. Okay. So, why can't we... Oh, we got one more holding. There we go. Alright. Yep. That uprising's done. Uh, now we gotta deal with the Valantin still. We're gonna come over here, take out this army, then go back, and I think if we take Volantis this time, uh, we should be able to be at 100% war score. The vassals of Marine now view you with respect. I'm right, they should. I still can't believe, like, that. was this a council? Justin Macy. King Justin Macy. Ridiculous. Rares is very rude to people in your court. Are these supposed to be the Lannister kids? Look, yeah, it even has his dual, his heterochromatic eyes. Um, Tyrion's. Uh, stab it. Okay. Uh, I'm decently hesitant to ask, but the confers of your loyal subjects are running s dry. Okay. 
Vassal Opinion's at minus 16% at the moment. I still haven't been crowned. It's gonna be a while. I'm wearing a crown. Doesn't that count for something? I really should get married to somebody. Uh, I'm 23, I'm not getting any younger. Oh Jesus! all these young kids. All right, let's, let's go by rank. Uh, the closest one to our age that's sort of older, we can get married to Randall Tarly. That's interesting. I don't think Damon is going to be down with that. Uh, who's, who's, who's not married? We've got Mace here. King Mace. Garland's married. He hasn't had any kids yet. How about Loris? He's a king's guard. Getting so confused. Oh, he's fighting somebody. Defending against King Mace of the Reach in the War of Reachman Independence. Makes sense? <laughs> yeah, it's like this has become a shit show, this throne. Uh, Ego is planning to. <gasps> One of my blood riders, he's planning to depose me. Yeah, nothing but lies and slander. I refuse to believe it. No way, he would not dare. Uh, this guy's wanting to pay ransom for release. Is this the one that's related to... Let, let me make sure this isn't going to mess up the war score. Yeah, sure. Alright. What happened to the war score? Why is it at negative 11? Don't I have the prisoners anymore? I accidentally released them or something? Okay, let's change my ambition. Uh, we want to become a dragon rider now. Or something. Is that not a thing? We're gonna try to obtain a dragon egg. Although, you know, we have we have these kids. I'll be his guardian. Maybe it'll help. Queen Daenerys cannot be the ward of a dragon. Oh, my bad. I got it mixed up. Uh, not what I meant to do. Sign guardian. Uh, propose that sh he should become the guardian of Sir Rhaegal. What? Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Am I misunderstanding something? I don't... How do I tame them? I'll figure something out eventually. I got two spare dragons. I should be able to tame one, right? Uh... Yeah, that's fine. A lot of people paying ransoms. Thank you for the money. Nice, we got some fresh taxes coming in. It's gonna be another extra long episode, but we gotta we gotta take down Volantis. What's gonna happen when we win? Are we gonna No, they're just gonna change their laws. We don't actually take control of it. Uh, whilst holding court, a group of Jogo's Nahi warriors was presented to you. Their leader expressed the admiration they had for you and presented to you as a gift a young Zorse stallion, a striped black and white mount that the Jogo Nahi ride on the plains. Uh, I need men like you. Please stay here in Marine. Do we need men like him? No, he's really not that great. Uh, thank you for the gift. So I now have a Zorse. A, yeah. Gives me more monthly prestige. Just a quality level one. It says I can rename it? Something? Whatever, that doesn't matter. Uh, right. Terrific. Uh, we're just gonna keep besieging these Volantin areas here. Maybe move up here to the different, the other Volantis. Is this the one I'm at war with? Yeah. To all my subjects, the inheritance of the Iron Throne has been thrown into question. And so a great council must be held to determine her, uh, who shall inherit the kingdom? All shall gather in King's Landing so we can vote for a new sovereign. Leading candidates are Tomin Waters. Oh, this is interesting. So there's about to be a great council. You know what? We're going to stop it here then uh, because it's been a, long, a little bit longer than usual. But in the next episode, it looks like it's going to be between Tomin, uh, Edric Storm, and Prince Tristan Dorn, and me. Uh, that's really interesting. So I'll see you all in the next one where we're going to see who wins. Have a great one and subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye.